These iPhone settings have to be turned off immediately to boost your device's security and privacy. We'll tackle them one by one so you'll understand why you need to do it and show you the procedures on how to disable them. Let's get started. The first thing you need to turn off is the Apple Marketing Communications. You can find it by opening settings and tapping your profile. Then tap name, phone numbers, email, and under subscriptions. You will find marketing communications from Apple. Tap the switch next to announcements and the one next to apps, music, TV, and more. From there, let's go to the second setting you need to disable. So just tap back at the top left corner and tap media and purchases. Tap view account and wait until the page loads. On the next screen, find personalized recommendations and tap the switch next to it to disable it. Doing this will reduce the amount of data that Apple collects about you, including your media preferences and purchases. Now go back to the main settings page and then tap privacy and security. Find camera and then tap on it. On the next page, you will see a list of apps that have access or are allowed to use the camera of your iPhone. From there, you can turn off camera access for specific apps, thereby preventing them from using your camera without your permission. This setting can help protect your privacy and prevent unauthorized use of your camera. Once you're done with the camera, go back to the previous screen and then tap microphone. Just like what you did with the camera, you also have to review the apps that have access to your device's microphone and disable them one by one, leaving only the apps that you trust and frequently use. This setting is particularly important since some apps may try to access your microphone without your knowledge. After managing the microphone, go back to the previous screen and swipe up to view the options at the bottom of the screen. Look for research sensor and usage data and tap on it once found. When this setting is on, your iPhone sends usage data and analytics to Apple to help improve their products and services. However, turning off this setting will prevent your iPhone from sharing such data with Apple. This can help protect your privacy and limit the amount of data that Apple collects about you. Go back to the previous screen and select Analytics and Improvements. By turning off this setting, you can prevent your iPhone from sending usage data and analytics to Apple. This can help protect your privacy and limit the amount of data that Apple collects about you. However, it may also affect the quality of Apple's products and services since they rely on user data to improve their offerings. The next one is the Apple Advertising, which can be found below the previous setting. When turned on, this setting allows Apple to track your activity across apps and websites to provide you with more personalized ads. However, turning off this setting can prevent Apple from tracking your activity and limit the amount of personalized ads you receive. This can help protect your privacy and prevent unwanted targeted ads. From Apple Advertising, let's go to Tracking. Just go back to the previous screen and swipe down to view the options from the top, then tap Tracking. Turning off the Allow Apps to Request to Track option will prevent apps from requesting to track you across other apps and websites. This can help protect your privacy and limit the amount of data that is shared about you. However, some apps may not function properly if the setting is turned off. That's you don't want to disable all of them. Take time to assess the apps you want to track your online activity. Another thing that's related to tracking is location services. You can choose which apps should have access to your location. Turning off location access for apps that don't need it can help protect your privacy and prevent unnecessary location tracking. This can also help improve your iPhone's battery life by reducing the amount of time it spends tracking your location. So if you want, you can spend time going through the list of your apps to block, or you can just disable location services all at once. It's all up to you. The next on our list is Bluetooth. There are potential vulnerabilities and risks associated with Bluetooth connections that can be exploited by attackers to compromise the security of a device. If you're not using it, or if your iPhone isn't connected to any of your accessories, it's better to disable it. Turning it off can also help conserve your iPhone's battery life, as Bluetooth consumes energy even when it's not being used. Aside from Bluetooth, there is also the AirDrop service, which is exclusive to Apple devices. This can be turned off by accessing the control center and tapping the AirDrop icon. By turning off this service when you're not using it can help prevent you from receiving files from strangers or unwanted sources. This can help protect your privacy and prevent potentially harmful files from being transferred to your device. From wireless connections, let's go to services that have a tendency to automatically download data from the web. So launch settings once again and then swipe up to find music and once found, tap on it. 
there is an option called Automatic Downloads that when it's on, your iPhone automatically downloads music from your iCloud Music Library. Turning it off can prevent your iPhone from using cellular data and can save storage space on your device. The next on the list is the App Store itself. You can still find it right from the main settings screen. It has an option called In-App Ratings and Reviews that can be turned off. This setting prevents apps from prompting you to rate and review them. This can help prevent annoying pop-ups and save you time when using apps. CarPlay is also one of the services that needs your attention if you want ultimate privacy on your iPhone. It has an option called Show While Locked that can be turned off by going to Settings, Screen Time, and then Content and Privacy Restrictions. Tap Allowed Apps, and then look for CarPlay. Once found, tap the switch next to it to disable it. This setting prevents CarPlay from displaying on the lock screen, which can help protect your privacy by preventing others from accessing your CarPlay apps without unlocking your iPhone. It can also prevent accidental taps on CarPlay while your iPhone is locked. Next is Background App Refresh, which can be turned off by going to Settings, General, and then Background App Refresh. This setting allows apps to refresh their content in the background, even when they're not actively being used. However, turning off this setting can help save your iPhone's battery life, as apps won't be constantly running in the background. This can be especially helpful if you're trying to conserve battery power while on the go. You can also block specific apps if you don't want to disable background refresh all at once. There is a setting called Attention Aware Features that prevents your iPhone from detecting when you're looking at the screen, which can help improve your privacy by preventing others from seeing notifications or accessing your phone without your permission. It can be turned off by going to Settings, then Face ID and Passcode. Turning off this setting can also make it slightly less convenient to unlock your iPhone as you'll need to swipe up to unlock your device manually. Still inside the Face ID and Passcode screen, there is an option called Accessories that can boost your iPhone's privacy and protection. This setting prevents USB accessories from accessing your device without your permission. When this setting is turned off, you'll need to unlock your iPhone manually before connecting it to any USB accessories, such as a charger or computer. This can help prevent unauthorized access to your device and your data. And those are the 17 essential iPhone settings that you need to turn off immediately to boost your device's security and privacy. We hope that this video can help you. Leave us a comment below if you have other settings you want explained or included in our future videos. Thanks for watching.